good day, everyone. My name is Albina Bardi. I am CTO of Practica Dotal. I come from Albania. I am a net tech enthusiast. I'm a modern learner, and I'm really excited that I got the uh, the chance to sh uh, share with you some tales from a project that we've been working on in, in Albania. Um, I listened to many presentations yesterday. I was also in a workshop earlier, and I saw how we all celebrate AI and the new ways of, of learning and this cutting edge technology. But um, the thing is, this is not the same for each school and for each country. Uh, this is not the case for my country either, uh, Albania. Uh, now, we know that digital divide is a thing. So many countries and schools actually face lack of access in internet. They lack uh, digital learning materials. They also uh, lack devices to use, and uh, not just in schools, but on other organizations as well. Um, and this is an issue that also affects my country. I would like to ask if any of you have ever visited Albania before? No? Yes? OK. Uh, well, I've got a lot to, to tell. Um, Albania is known as the land of, of eagles. It has these stunning beaches, the majestic mountains. We are also known for our very rich cultural heritage as well. Uh, our food, our hospitality. We are known as very resilient people. But if this is not enough, just in case, Dua Lipa is, Al is Albanian. <laughs> Mother Teresa also. And for every football fan, uh, Granit Xhaka, who is the captain of Swiss uh, football team, is also, uh, from, uh, is also Albanian. So we have celebrities of all kinds. Um, uh, all this sounds so good, but the sad reality is that young people are leaving Albania. They are tra um, traveling abroad for um, better opportunities uh, that they don't see in our country, uh, which is actually really sad. Unemployment being the main reason for this. And uh, yeah, but something strange is happening though, because while youngsters uh, say that there is no job for us, employers are actually suffer from the lack of not just qualified staff, but even staff. Like, uh, so we, we ask ourselves if there is enough jobs for youngsters in Albania, then why are they leaving? How come that they cannot seem to find each other. And this is how Practica Dotal was founded three years ago with a main purpose to match. Uh, the QR code uh, will take you to uh, uh, our company profile. These are some screen screenshots from our web application. Uh, Practica Pical has one mission which is uh, to help, to be an enabler, uh, to facilitate the process of entering and succeeding in the labor market. Uh, we offer and provide work-based learning, internships, apprenticeships. We offer online courses, training programs for youngsters in Albania, also for employees in organizations. Um, we, have, we are a new company, but, but we have managed to build a meaningful portfolio uh, because we've worked with ILO and Swiss Contact, uh, mostly on private sector engagement and vet schools digitalization, vocational educational schools. And this is where we collaborated with Skills for Jobs project. And this is where it all becomes interesting. Skills for Jobs project is a project implemented by Swiss Contact in Albania. Uh, they are working with um, uh, VET systems, so vocational educational training schools, 
Uh, I've listed here some of the main points of their work, and the QR code takes you to a document that they have developed. It's a roadmap on VET digitalization. So for if there is any uh, VET practitioner, I really suggest you to take a look at the document uh, because it has really good practices and it's a good example on how to build an ICT-supported modernization process for VET schools. Um, but today I'm presenting only how Practica Dotal helped in one point on digitalization of VET offer. When Skills for Jobs first started working in Albania, they started identifying key challenges. And uh, apart from uh, the limited digital skills and digital infrastructure, they uh, acknowledged a very important uh, challenge, which, uh, which was the scarcity of learning materials for professional courses in vet schools. So students and teachers didn't have learning materials to begin with. Uh, so, this is why in 2019 they developed Masovet, which was a Moodle based platform, and they started hiring teachers to develop, to, to develop, to write learning material, and then to digitize it and to put it in Moodle, which they called uh, Masovet, which was a great, a great start. Now, our job as Practica Dotal was to leverage the platform to its fullest potential. And what we did is that we followed a more holistic approach. So after laying the groundwork, let's say we embraced Moodle Workplace. This was a game changer. Uh, because what we did with Moodle Workplace is that we created an independent site for each vet school. And then we, of course, it was a priority developing the digital learning materials. So we hired experts that uh, were able to define standards. We worked with a team of instructional designers to uh, assure the quality of these digital learning materials. And we focused on capacity building as well. We built this program called Digital Pedagogy, which included eight courses. Uh, this program was followed by about 500 teachers last year on uh, VET school, which was, which was great. And we did solve the, the, the result of it. Uh, but we, uh, so we didn't focus only on the technology factor. Human factor is really important. That's why capacity building is a very important thing that we have been working constantly. And what we did is that we also um, uh, put another thing there, which are digital focal points in school. This was a very important factor. These are teachers that have the uh, necessary technical expertise to help teachers and students inside the school. So not only administer the platform, but also this technical person who also wears the teacher's hat can help uh, his colleagues and students not only to utilize the platform, but to unleash, let's say, every potential uh, of it. Uh, now, here is the view of uh, the login pages of some of the VT schools that have the, their own site on our platform. Uh, to do this, we collaborated with White Services, which is a Moodle premium partner from, from Greece. They did a, a great job on implementing uh, all this. And um, now, we can say that uh, it has been a, a real success because it, it has only been a year since the implementation of it. Uh, and now teachers can create custom courses that match their school's vocational focus. Also students can access their courses because we also have the branded Moodle uh, mobile app which they are, uh, and students can access in offline mode uh, every learning material, which, is, which was great. Um, and most of all, we now have a digital treasure uh, of learning materials, uh, which weren't there uh, before. And they are, they are accessible for all schools in Albania, for all teachers and students to, to use. Um, and here is the impact of all of this. Here is the number of active users on uh, different scholar years. So last year we uh, upgraded to Moodle Workplace. And each month, the number of active users was doubled. 
which was which was great. We actually did a lot of job here by promoting the platform, and what we did is we used students for it. So we created groups of students on each vet school that we called um, uh, innovation clubs. Uh, so they were kind of our brand ambassadors. They. Uh, learned, they teach other students about the platform, about the learning materials, and how they can also push the teachers to use the, the platform, because students are, were actually our biggest advocates on this, on this journey, while teachers were a bit more uh, resistant because of the age gap sometimes, because of uh, the fear of using new technology. So yeah, there were lots of, uh, of challenges that are still uh, <laughs> that are still on. It's not like we have solved everything, but it's a really really good start. And here is the number of courses in Mosovet. So there are more than 500 courses, and the number of users each year is like uh, around um, 15,000 now, which is also also great. And. Um, yeah, this is it. This is my LinkedIn profile for if we want to, if you want to connect. Uh, thank you all for for listening. Thank you.